What's up, Dark Sizzle Nation? In today's video, we head to the only place in the northern and western hemisphere to catch Bear Monday. I catch a Bear Monday and I show you how I clean it. Yeah, be sure to watch until the end of the video because I sauteed this Bear Monday up with some butter and lemon for the first ever United States Bear Monday Catch, Clean, and Cook. I'm trying to get the troops together for a wonderful fishing trip today with the family. If you guys want to see more morning time, this is it. Today we're going fishing at our great friends, Osseo Outbacks, that's with Byron and Kim. We love them, they're awesome. And we're gonna take the family, we're taking Connor, who's a US Marine of course, and Megan, and I'm just trying to get them together. Yeah. Sizzle, get in the car. I'm ready, I'm ready. They're all been, they've been longtime friends of ours and we actually did a boat fishing trip with them like almost three years ago. So I'm excited, excited to show them. And we gotta get in the car though. Let's, let's go. go. Are you ready, Megan? Oh yeah, I'm ready to beat my sibs. And some Barry Monday. We're going to the Great White North of Florida. We're going two hours north, and we, the, these Miami people need to bring their sweatshirts. It's actually a little bit of a cold front. What's up? Let's roll. We are almost there, super close. But first, I want to tell you really quick about the special offers that I have going on for Black Friday through Cyber Monday sales. The sales are starting now. Starting with my 2019 Dar Sizzle calendars. Saltwater calendars available, you can see the small and the big. And then we got freshwater calendars available as well. You can save 10% off your purchase on calendars and you'll also receive a free Dar Sizzle sticker with every calendar that is purchased. The coupon code is TAKE10 and all that information will be listed down below starting today. So take advantage of it. Also, don't forget about fish hook and anchor bracelets. You can see all the different colors I'm wearing on each wrist here. Great stocking stuffer for the kids and adults alike. Plenty of different paracord colors. Please check it out. And that code is 342. So purchase three calendars and pay for the price of two. That coupon code is also listed down in the description. And last but not least, I have a huge discount for patrons only. So patrons, please go to patreon.com to check that out. Um, and also, if you end up signing up to become a patron now, you'll also receive that offer as well. So, just want to let you go, let you guys know about that sale starting now through Cyber no Cyber Monday, November 26th. So thank you guys, and once again, everything's in the description below. DarcizzleOffshore.com forward slash shop. What's up, my brother? Good. Good What's up, big good. guy? What's up, man? I see you again? Yeah. What's going on? We just put 6,000 pounds in. Yeah, I saw last that. week. Wow. So, the only thing with fish in here, the, the big ones that we have, the ones that are like eight pounds, yeah. the little guys won't even let the bait get it. near. The, yeah, the little guys yeah. are like tearing it up. Gotcha. So, okay. it's harder to catch. We did have somebody catch an eight pounder this morning. We're going to get started catching the fish here at the Barramondi Pond and it was great catching up and getting to see Byron and Kim from Osceola Outback Adventures and I'm going to link all their information down below. But this is the only place basically in the Northern Hemisphere and in the United States where you can actually catch Barramundi and Barramundi are located in Australia. But you should check out their website fishthepit.com for all the information to come here and just do catch and release Bear Monday all day. And you can see we got set up here with a DOA jig attached with a chartreuse uh, a swim bait which is perfect and the barbs are clipped on it too so it's just going to be catch and release. And we've got a 50 pound fluorocarbon leader. This is a pink leader and that's what you need for these Bear Monday because they tear up your leader and they have super sharp gill plates and they will destroy it after just catching a few fish. So we're gonna get started fishing here and I'm gonna show you how beautiful these fish are and how much they've grown. But they've got a mixture of small ones and big ones that they've had for over a year now. Here we go. Oh, I already feel taps, tap, tap. Hooked up, just like that. They fight good. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Nice one. Check it out. 
beautiful fish. And the barramundi are exactly like our snook. Well, they're similar to our snook that we have here in the States. And so that's basically Australia's snook with super, super sharp gill plates. But check out how beautiful that fish is. I don't know if you can see those green sparkling eyes. I love those eyes. Woo! Let me go grab them and release them. Well, that's a nice solid fish for sure. That's probably a two pounder right there. Well, let's get him back in the water and get a release. And he's off. Woo, that was an angry fish. Hooked up on the fall. I can actually feel him. I get a hook. Oh, actually bite it. It's super cool. Nice, Megan. Hooked up, double up, double up. Woo! And this guy just put up a heck of a fight. So fish number three, going home. Whoa. All right, there you go. Hooked up right by here. Urgh, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. All right, that's five now for me. Trying to catch up to everybody else. All right. Bubba blade pliers. Even though there's no barbs, this hook just got wedged right in a little piece of his mouth area. So I'm just going to pull it out real quick. There we go. Stay, stay, stay. Fish number five for me. Beautiful one. Ooh, hooked up. Hooked up. All right, here we go. And he's off. Nice one. Another stud. Connor and Megan are crushing it. Nice one. Tell them again what your Instagram is. Follow me at Connor Airhill. C O N O R, not E R. I'll get that wrong, but follow me. There you go. Nice fish. Let's let him go. Hooked up. All of us got a fish. Triple up. Look at me. One, two. We should kiss him. They'll be free to make He's more off. babies. All right, let's get some more. I still haven't caught a big one like Megan or Connor, so they're slaying it. Oh, he just crushed that. Oh, got him. Oh, yeah, nice. nice. Oh, yeah. Woo. This is so much fun to do with the kids from land. Have a blast all day long here at fishthepit.com. Tons of fun. Oh, oh, hooked up, hooked up, hooked up. Go, go, go. Oh, just got smashed. Ooh, this one's putting up a fight too. Oh, hooked up, hooked up. Yes, hooked up. Oh, double up, double up with Connor. Oh. Hooked up. Gosh, they fight. Nice fish. All right, guys, check out this beautiful fish. This is probably Barramundi. Woo, chill out, buddy. This is probably Barramundi number like 20 for me, maybe. And my brother Connor and Meg Han Solo, ooh, he just got me really good. And Meg Han Solo um, have been catching about 20 fish as well. So pretty sweet. Let me just get a hold of them real quick. Did he spit the lure? I think he did. Yeah, sweet. All right, beautiful fish. Check it out. Got a nice new injury. Woo, buddy, chill out. Let me show you to the camera. His eyes are starting to turn red as the sun's going down. Calm down, buddy. And Byron and Kim have been nice enough to let us do a Barramundi catch and cook video. I can't control this fish, I'm sorry. But he will be going into my grizzly cooler and we're gonna be trying a Barramundi for the first time ever. I'm really excited, that's a beautiful fish and I can't thank Byron and Kim enough. Also, the fish to pit is strictly catch and release but they have allowed us to try one and make an awesome video for you guys to let you know how it tastes. So. We're keeping this guy and he's going in the cooler. Beautiful barramundi going in the cooler. It's probably a two pounder, maybe two and a half. But he is going in my grizzly cooler on ice. 
and I can't wait to crack to fillet it for you guys, which I've never filleted a barramundi, and cook it up for you guys and show you how delicious they are and also have Pop Sizzle try it. So let's get them on ice. Sweet. Super cool the feeding of the bear Monday. He said that's not even epic because it's kind of cold in the air, but they actually go even more crazy and it sounds like gunshots. It's wild. But I just want to give a special thanks to Byron and Kim Hennessy from Osceola Outback Adventures. Fishtopit.com, check it out. I'm also going to be giving them a calendar. I have the freshwater and saltwater calendars. So they get a freshwater calendar. Here you go. <laughs> and do you want a freshwater or a saltwater? Saltwater. Saltwater? All right, here you go. Give All one right, to cool. Jonathan, too. He's a big fan. So I will sign them. I just haven't autographed them quite yet. But um, right. just want to. It costs to get them signed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to say special thanks to them for allowing us to come up here and have an epic day of Bear also, Monday can't fishing. Forget. Yeah. What? Main Squeeze. Kim, too. Yes, of course. Yes. Kim. They're special people, great friends, and I can't wait to come back and slay some more fish with them. So we're going to head home. We are back home, guys. It's the next day because we were driving home in the dark and I wasn't gonna fillet this bear Monday in the dark. So, we're out here in the yard, got my whole setup ready to fillet my first bear Monday ever, and I'm gonna go talk you guys through the steps. And today, I'm going to be using my Bubba Blade knives. This is my go-to knife, which is a seven inch tapered flex. I love a flexible, bendable knife to actually work and fillet that fish off nice and easy for me. That works great. Also, I have an eight inch whiffy knife that I'm going to be using to skin the fish. So we move the, to remove the fillet off the skin. So let's get started. We got, and I also want to remind you guys really quick too that this bear Monday was removed from Osceola Outback Adventures completely dead. We were not, I was not allowed to take it off the farm unless it was dead to try it. So this fish was injured, he died, we put him in our cooler and we're gonna eat him up. So here we go. We're gonna make the first cut. This is gonna be just like any other fish I would do. Um, I actually looked it up on YouTube, because why not? And just right behind the pectoral fin, sharp knife is key, always a sharp knife. Then I'm gonna run it right along the backbone here and just follow that bone line. I wanna check out how beautiful this filet looks. I'm so excited. Put this knife over. Cut, whoop, cut through the tail just like that. Now, I'm just gonna basically work the knife down the backbone here and just fillet off this beautiful meat. Oh wow, wait till you guys see this. This is awesome. So this would be filleting like any other fish, like a snook, snapper, it doesn't matter. This is a standard way to fillet fish. I like to start from the back. Some people like to start from the stomach area and work up, um, but I prefer to do it this way. I also like to prefer to keep the rib bones intact so the innards stay enclosed in the fish. Some people like to cut that off, I don't. We're almost done with this side. Wow. Check that out. There's our first bear Monday filet and that looks absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to fillet that off there and see how it looks without the skin on. But we're gonna go ahead and repeat the process on exactly the same, the other side of the fish. Just laid my first bear Monday. Check that out. I don't think I missed a whole lot. I did a good job. And I would normally throw this in my canal, but this guy is gonna become stone crab trap bait. <laughs> Might as well make two uses out of them. Eat them and use them as bait. What about that? All right, now, let me get my other knife. I'm going to switch it up and use my eight inch whiffy knife, which is very thin and flexible. And this should be able to get the job done nice and easy. And let's just Go at a 45 degree angle and work it all the way down that fillet. That's one. Same thing. And like I said, sharp knives are key to success when filleting fish. You need a sharp knife and I highly recommend Bubba Blade. Check out my Amazon store to see all the fishing products that I like to use. It's in the description below. Last but not least, you just see these like little, um, this different muscle meat, which is for the actual fins. I'm just gonna cut that off right there. Get rid of that, get rid of this little area. 
get rid of this. And let me show you the back. There's really no bloodline there. No bloodline whatsoever. I'm going to leave it fully intact. So now it's on to the cooking. What's up guys? Putin here, as you know. I do all the cooking around here. And we got Megan's well, joined the team. He doesn't do all the cooking around here. He just, he specifically specializes in fish cooking. That's true. I cook, I specialize <laughs> in fish cooking. Let's get that right. Let's get that right. Yeah, Megan, I got matching shirts. Megan's all up. And we're going to be doing this Barramundi fresh caught Barramundi cook. And we're doing sauteed in butter and lemon. It's going to be delicious. We also got some asparagus. And we're going to have a little salad, a little kale salad that Darcy's sister introduced to us. And it's good for my diet. So let's get right to it. Darcy's got to trim this barramundi a little bit, uh, so get all ready for the pan. Dive in. Nice job, Lucille. That was awful fast. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna put. I'm using this Amish butter. What do we call this butter? Well, that's um Kerrygold, uh, Kerrygold Irish gold butter. butter. Irish butter. Yes. Get rid of the Amish butter. Luck of the Irish. Luck of the Irish. We're Irish. Yeah. So it makes sense. So I'm just gonna put a big old slab of that in the pan. All right, key is don't burn, don't burn the butter. I just put a little salt and pepper on the barramundi. All right, let's throw that in the pan. I'm just using, using my hands, you know, putting this. Nice. Oh, look what I got for dessert, guys. Pudding. It's not starting to burn. Turn it down a little. Yeah. All right, now the way, the way, what I do with the fish is I usually put the timer on for like two or three minutes. And then when the sides start to get a little white, I flip it over. Now while that's cooking up, guys, I wanted to remind you or tell you guys that we are having a massive Thanksgiving here. We got all the siblings, right? We got Megan. Yeah. Megan's twin My sister. Queen. Aaron's in town. Connor, of course. Kelly's in the house with Timoteo. That's five of us. Yeah. I have, I'm the oldest of five. Yes. And we're having a bunch of family coming in. And uh, so we're not gonna put up a video on Thursday. We don't usually put up videos on holidays. So I know we usually do, but not this Thursday at the holiday. So the video is gonna be out Friday morning, okay? And it's gonna be a great video. We went offshore fishing and we had a great time. So uh, don't bug out, there's no video on Thursday. And uh, so that's, that's gonna be very exciting. So and that's Black Friday. And we're gonna be reminding you then again, of course, I'm sorry, but we're gonna remind you about our Black Friday deals. Yes. Oh yeah. Not gonna go over right now. We already talked about that. Yes. Okay, but I will remind you, don't forget about Darcy's Amazon link. Now just click that and we'd really appreciate it if you did like all your Christmas shopping through that link. It's no cost to you and Darcy's gonna get like three or five percent on the purchases or whatever. So she gets a little kickback and pays for like the gas in the boat, right? Yeah. Not too bad. You would just click the link and then you would shop as you normally would. Just go on the search bar and go from there. It will take you to my store, but just click it and that'll count towards me. So. Yeah, that's more or less what I just said. Yeah. It's awesome. But this is cooking right along and we're gonna be done in a second here. All right, guys, now you see it's kind of white on the edges right here? That's when I'm going to flip it. The lemon's Ooh. caramelizing. Nice. All right, looks like it's about done. That's why I let you know that on the fish, the fish is going to be a lot better if you don't overcook it. Always a little bit undercook it. The way I test it again is just poke it with a fork. And this fork's going through good here. These thicker pieces, I can still feel a little bit of meat in there. So I'm going to take these. Well, first, because they're thinner. You can also tell they're getting done when they start to flake like that. I mean, that's a good sign, too. All right, that's done now, too. How's it look, Megan? Yummy. You got the silverware. Slow down, you're drunk. <laughs> uh, I don't want to ruin, I don't want to put beer taste in my mouth quite yet. No, you got a fresh I don't want to put Landshark longer taste in my mouth quite yet. Yeah, exactly. I want to taste the fish first. Taste it up, ladies. Let's see. So, okay. So we got our lunch. I normally don't eat a lunch, so Brian's very happy and proud of me that I'm eating. <laughs> and this is, I'm pretty sure this is like the first official ever Barramundi catch and cook in the United States. Crazy. Ever. Caught in the United States, U.S. style. There you go. All right, let's do this. Wow. Whoa. How'd it taste? Good. Mm-hmm. I like that lemon in it. Oh, nice. Now, does it taste fishy or not fishy? Not fishy, not fishy at fishy. all. It's light. Is there another fish do you compare it to? 
Hold on. I would say snook. Snook, huh? That makes sense. What would you say, Girl Sizzle? It's more moist, though. Like a snook is a little... A snook or similar to like a snapper, very flaky white meat, like a yellowtail snapper. Or like that's this. not flaky. Yellowtails feel soft. Maybe like closer to like a triple tail. Like, oh, like I've never had a triple tail. tail. And they sense. actually have a triple tail look to them. Um, like our normal triple tail here in the United States. So, wow. You can't complain. I can't get, you can't go wrong yeah. with Barra Mundi. No, it's delicious. Let's okay, wrap it up. Barra. Barra. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this Catch and Cook thank video. Thank you, mates. I hope you all enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed Connor and Megan Solo in the video as well. I will link their Instagrams down below if you want to check them out and follow them. Uh, but they don't have their own YouTube channels right now. I know you guys keep asking me that. And you'll see them in the future in more videos as well. Yes. So thank you for watching. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss out when our <laughs> new videos get posted. Until our next adventure, follow, follow your dreams, dreams and keep, keep on catching. catching. Cheers. Nice. I also realized I was looking at the thing again. So I mentioned I burnt I burnt oh. this. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs>